so number 10. 10 fresh restaurant marketing ideas for 2016. Being allergy friendly and gluten free. The point here is to expand your audience. Continue to cater to the majority of us without food allergies, but now find select partners to source allergen friendly options that make it possible for the family of four who has a child with celiac disease to enjoy food at your restaurant. You offer whole wheat pasta on your menu, so why not offer a brown rice pasta? Offering allergen friendly and gluten free options doesn't have to be a yes or no black or white decision. It is possible to safely provide alternative alternatives either made in house or sourced from certified allergen and gluten free partners. There's tons. You go to the grocery store now, there's an aisle to get the health foods, whole foods, yeah. um, allergen foods. The, offer choices it will bring more people in that's the bottom line get involved do that you have i mean nowadays not be able to offer something that is gluten-free allergen free corn free soy free you're missing a massive market a lot of people come and it's to a restaurant. disappointment if you don't get it and you're looking for it and you have to eat just a salad yep. or or yep. there's very limited things on the menu oh. you don't have to have them the majority of your menu like that but you have to have some choices for people a party of five go out to eat and one person soy free dairy free nut free this they're gonna they're gonna go to the restaurant that he or she picks, picks. because they've had a success at that store at that restaurant in Before. the past yep. super super so important be aware of food allergies and gluten-free and other things out there that people are allergic yep. to and if you don't know what the allergy is because I remember back in the in the Look late 90s <laughs> remember back in the late 90s somebody told oh can you make me a vegan cake and as a chef as a professionally trained chef going through culinary school in the early 90s, they didn't teach us vegan baking. They didn't teach us corn-free things. They didn't teach us, that was never taught. So as a young chef going up and through the mid 90s and late 90s, when people came in and asked me, oh, I have celiac disease, I'd be scratching my head and be like, celiac disease? And I took the time back then as a young chef to educate myself on all different types of diets. Thus, I adopted a different diet for myself right. back then because I realized certain foods I was eating were not good for me. But the reality is you have to be educated on this and you have to, don't lie to somebody. Because if you lie to somebody, we've been lied to before, like, oh, those cookies are vegan. We're not allergic to eggs or dairy, but, but if, if somebody were, is, you don't know. lie, make sure that you're being truthful and honest with the things that you are serving. And I looked to my friend and I said, those cookies that have eggs in them, they don't care about that here. Okay. So. Anyway, which tips are you gonna implement? in 2016 either as a restaurant or you can take these as different marketing ideas yes 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 all right excellent i'm chef marcus juliano and jamie and we will uh good luck in business yeah. good luck in business in 2016 leave your comments leave your comments below. feedback thanks for watching you know what to do share like pass it on